Hi, my name is Chris Carlson. I'm one of the senior FAEs here at Altium. And today I would like to discuss for you the EDA design approach. Now, typically product development is achieved through a tool chain of various dissimilar tools. Typically, you will have a schematic capture tool. It's its own executable. Its intent is to capture the electrical connectivity and intent of the design. The output of the schematic tool is generally a net list, which is then imported into a potentially dissimilar PCB tool. Then once we have laid out the board and captured the design intent in the PCB domain, we would generate our assembly and fabrication information. And we can then um, view that information, maybe run some final uh, design rule checks in a dissimilar CAM editor. Now the transfer from the PCB to the CAM editor is generally in the form of Gerber and NC drill. However, it could be IPC 2581, Gerber X2, ODB++, doesn't really matter. But this design process um, requires separate individual pieces of software, each its own EXE file with its own limitations and issues. When I teach classes, I often ask customers if they've ever had a problem with this design approach. And I get a lot of laughter. Um, customers tell me that prior to using Ultium Designer, they always had to edit net lists by hand to get them into their dissimilar PCB tool. And then what about library management? I've heard all kinds of battle stories about trying to manage a library over the top of these dissimilar tools. Real world example. A customer once told me that they were able to capture the design intent of a product and push that via a netlist over to the PCB designer. When they realized their PCB designer was about three quarters of the way finished with the design, they decided they better get some parts because we're going to build a prototype. So generating a bomb, they passed that off to the procurement department. A couple of days later, procurement came back and said, we can get everything on this list except two parts. We can get them, just not in the package you specified. Well, it's a pretty simple problem to solve. You just have your PCB designer put down a different copper LAN pattern, which they did. He built the prototype, tested it. Everything was stellar. Now they went into production with that bill of materials, neglecting to push the design change back to the schematic editor. They actually bought 10,000 of two different parts that didn't fit on the board. Let me show you a better way. Altium Designer's unified design platform features editors for each of the design domains in the entire product development path. It's built on the DXP platform. DXP stands for Design Explorer. And the Design Explorer has built into it all of the editors for each piece of your design process. So we have a schematic editor built into the DXP platform, your symbol library editor for your SCH libs, built over the top of the schematic editor is a spice engine, it's built on Berkeley build 3F5, supports PSpice, XSpice, and Berkeley spice models. Then in the PCB domain, there's the PCB editor and its associated PCB library editor. Built over the top of the PCB editor is an MCAD domain. We actually add 3D models to the footprints in the PCB library. When you transfer the, do the design to the PCB domain, we can view the board in 3D. We can also bring a 3D model of the enclosure directly into the PCB editor domain, fit the board into it, check for proper fitment, as well as make sure we don't have any collisions between components on the board and the enclosure, all in the PCB editor. The DXP platform supports database libraries, 
supply chain information, as well as output generation. All of these editors are built into one platform to even include the CAM editor as the final process. Altium Designer is one application, supports all of the editors for the entire design process. Never again do you generate a net list from a schematic, import it into a dissimilar tool. All of the graphical user interfaces for each of the editors are consistent. Like features are found in the same places on the toolbars, enhancing your productivity in your design process. For more information, please leave comments below. If there are topics that you would like to see us present in the future, you can leave those comments as well. Thanks for taking the time to join me. My name is Chris Carlson.